This video is going to show you how to sew a dart. When constructing clothing, darts are essential for good fit. Darts help flat fabric to take on shape and help the clothing to fit the contours of the body. Darts can be used in many different parts of clothing. For example, there are bust darts, such as the one on this button-up shirt. There are also waist darts that help to give the gar garment more form to the body. Okay, so the first step is to cut out the dart on your pattern piece. As you can see, the dart has this extra point that sticks out from the main cutting line. It's important to cut that out and not just cut straight across or your dart won't sew well. So you'll pin the pattern piece to your fabric. Okay, once you have it pinned well, then you'll cut out the fabric. Again, when cutting out the dart, make sure that you cut the point out from the main seam line. All right, once you have the pattern all cut out, you're going to leave the pattern piece still pinned on so you can mark your dart. The easiest way to mark a dart is to use tracing paper with a tracing wheel. And make sure that your markings are going to show up on the wrong side of your fabric. So the wrong side of your fabric will match up with the tracing paper. And notice that we're using white with this dark blue fabric because it's a contrast and it, you'll be able to see your markings well. And so then you will use the wheel and follow the dotted lines. Making sure to apply enough pressure so that the markings will show. Flip it over, then you can see our markings there, and then you can go ahead and unpin the pattern piece and set that aside. Okay, so next we want to fold the fabric in half to sew our dart. You can do this by making sure your point is at the edge of the fabric here, and then it's also always a good idea to try to stick a pin in through the line to make sure that they're equal. As you can see, we're off a little bit, so we try it again. We'll just stick one pin in to help us hold it before we press it. So you can see it's folded in half there. So then you take it over to your preheated iron. It's important to not use any steam because you don't want your markings to fade. Okay, then you'll have a nice crease so you'll be able to take out the pin to sew it. Okay, so you'll have your sewing machine all ready to go and you should use a regular stitch length and width. And you're going to sew starting at the wide end and to the point. And you'll just sew off the edge of the fabric. And then you'll back stitch at the wide end but make sure not to back stitch at the point. You just want to sew straight off so we don't have extra bulk. Okay, so starting at the wide end, go ahead and make sure to back stitch. And just make sure that you follow your markings. And notice as we're coming to the point, we'll just sew straight off the edge. And lift up the needle and the presser foot. And make sure you leave plenty of tail before you cut the threads. And then, so our dart doesn't come undone, we will take the two pieces of thread at the point and tie them into a square knot. Left over right and then right over left. And then go ahead and trim the threads. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now you can see our nicely sewn dart. And then this is what it looks like when you open it up. And now the last step is to press it. So we'll press from the wrong side because this flap of fabric will be on the inside of the clothing. And then we'll press the dart to one side. Usually you press them down. Um, so it will be facing the bottom of the seam line or the finished piece. And the, it's important to try to press flat around the point so you don't get a crease beneath where it's sewn. It's helpful to use the pressing ham for that step. Now here you can see our completed dart that will help give our shirt or skirt or whatever we're making a nice shape to help fit the contour of our body.